everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library at our downtown main location and today we're talking about recycled art! Yay! So uh, the program today is specifically called Recycled Towers, but as you can see you can make whatever you want. I made an alien bug dude. So the art projects, the real life art extravaganzas that inspired this particular project were made by two guys called, um, one of them is named Simon Rodia, and the other one is named um, Hampton. And um, so the first guy, Simon Rodia, he's most famous for the Watts Towers. They, he was a construction worker and he was known for going all over town and collecting porcelain and seashells and broken bottles and all kinds of things and people couldn't understand what it was he was making out of them. Well, what he made were 99-foot towers that became known as the Watts Towers. He worked on them for over 33 years, and as you can see, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty stellar. He wrote, he made some really cool things. So Watts is in a, what well, used to be a suburb of Los Angeles, and when the city grew, the people who were growing Los Angeles were afraid that it was a building hazard and they were going to knock them down. Well, people who loved lo work looking at the towers protested. And they said, if we can prove that they're not going to fall down from an earthquake or from a storm with high winds, can we keep them? And the county commissioner said, sure, why not? Because they're pretty cool. So they did all sorts of tests on them and they're really sturdy. So they still stand today in Watts, the Watts area of Los Angeles. So those are really cool. So 99 foot tall, made out of recyclables, which is pretty awesome. The other guy made, um, also made lots of cool stuff. He was a janitor and he collected aluminum and gold foil, light bulbs, old furniture, jelly jars, mirrors, and he worked in Washington, D.C., and he made his stuff for over 14 years, and now they're being displayed in the Smithsonian. And so this is a detail from the Third Throne of Heaven, which is one of the pieces he made. And this is a bigger picture of that art piece, which is pretty cool. And he even inspired a book by Shelley Perzal called The Seventh Most Important Thing. So if you're looking for an interesting read, this is a definitely interesting read. So as for your own art projects, what are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna find stuff. That's the most fun part. Just go through your house and find, not broken so that you'll cut yourself on them, but find discarded bits and bobs and pieces, parts that nobody else is using. Make sure no one else is using them and put them together and see what you can make. You can make towers, you can make things for your dollhouses, you can make things for the bugs outside, you can make stuff just because you think it looks cool. Uh, what I made this guy with is I found a box. It was just a shipping box. I used pipe cleaners and googly eyes to give him eyes. I had a CD left over from our CD art project, so I used that as a face. These are all bottle caps. And I even gave him a little tail back there. This is a disposable plate that we didn't need anymore. These are obviously solo cups down there, drinking cups that we didn't use anymore. And I made an alien bug. So as always, there's no wrong way to do art, but with this project in particular, really there is nothing wrong whatsoever. I think if I were to keep working on this guy, I'd maybe make the tail bigger. Maybe I'd get toilet paper rolls or a paper towel rolls and maybe give him arms or something, or just leave him as is. He's pretty cool the way he is. So have fun. Just have fun. Just triple check that anything you gather is in fact not going to be used for anything else. Because if your grown-ups are planning on using those drinking cups, they might be a little upset to find them missing. So have fun, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to share them to our website the instructions are in your art bag or the website our email address that's the word i'm looking for the email address is on the instruction sheet in your art bags 
send them to our email address or share them on our Facebook page. We'd love to see them. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.